And this is where the identities were born. Let's go. Prove. The tangent of a over 2 is the sine of a over the quantity 1 plus cosine a. So we rewrite the left-hand side because we're not lazy. And the sine of the half angle of a over 2 is half angle plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine of a divided by 1 plus the cosine of a. So we say that we're going to multiply by the conjugate. And you're like, why? Well, why don't we wait and see what we get? So we're multiplying top and bottom by the conjugate now. When we do in the top, we see we have the difference of squares. And when we multiply that out, that's 1 pl minus the cosine squared a. Eh? And down there in the bottom, why don't I just call that a square? Yeah. Now what? Oh, Pythagorean! Pythagorean! Then what? Oh, really? You have the square root of a couple of squares and you get the sine of a? Of the cosine of a? That is the right-hand side. But why? Oh, that's the definition of absolute value, and I can get rid of that plus and minus. So now what are you going to do? You've already shown the right-hand side. You're going extra? He's going the distance. He multiplies top and bottom by the conjugate of that denominator. Why? He's going to show you the other form. You are really on. So they go, oh, oh. Difference of squares. Then? Pythagorean! Pythagorean! Yeah! There it is. They reduce, and you are left with the other form. You've leveled up. Good job, Stu. Yeah. This one time in math class. This one time in math class. Real stories from the classroom.